Hey guys, Alex here from the AL7 YouTube channel. I'm doing something completely different for the YouTube channel. I'm doing a DoorDash vlog series. So how I'm planning on doing this is doing like a one day for today to see how much money I can generate. Then I would also like to do a week long version to see how much I could possibly generate within a week. And then like a 30 day or month long challenge for DoorDash, see how much money I can generate. Uh, me personally, I only plan on doing it for about two to three hours a day and I don't think realistically I'll have time to do it every day. As you guys know, or most of you guys know, I work as a professional media specialist here in the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania. I do things like real estate media. I also do music videos, commercials for businesses, uh, photo shoots, and pretty much everything under the sun for videography and photography. I offer services for that. Now, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, um, I've had had a lot of luck some weeks with doing a lot of commercials for businesses that needed things such as advertising for social media and their website to keep uh, business consistently coming in for things such as like restaurants and whatnot. But um, I did also start a vlog series on the A1 Photo Fund YouTube channel, like a day in the life of a professional media specialist. And uh, <laughs> in, within the first vlog, I had a lot of issues um, with some of my clients. I like. The Lehigh Valley seems to have a lot of business owners that don't run their businesses very well. They're very unprofessional. They don't answer calls. Uh, they cancel appointments. The list goes on. Uh, for example, I was supposed to do a commercial property shoot for a real estate firm. Uh, it was going to be quick, uh, pretty quick and easy $600 shoot up, uh, around that ballpark uh, for the commercial property. Uh, I met up with the guy, did a whole presentation. He was interested in working with me. He, he liked my real estate portfolio. And uh, the following week he was like, yeah, I just need to get the key. I can get you in there to shoot for two to three hours. And then, yeah, I would edit the content, get it back to him and then, you know, get the full payment of about $600. So uh, when things do work out for my business, things work out pretty well. But uh, with this guy, I called him the following week and he still hasn't gotten the key for the property. So uh, another week went on and I sent him a text uh, this week on Monday to let me know what day we're scheduling this week to do this. Um, commercial property shoot. He, he didn't get back to me. I tried calling him Tuesday and then this guy just suddenly vanished. So I don't know what's going on. He may call me next week and be like, hey, we can finally do the shoot or who knows, but it's just sitting there not earning him any money. And I was gonna do a virtual video tour and then some photos for it to help it sell faster so that he can make his money and I get paid in the process as well. So to fill in the gaps, I'd like to do this series with DoorDash. And then I'm also putting together a video series for the app uh, or website Fiverr. It's a freelance app for uh, creatives uh, such as like myself, videographer, photographer, if you're a graphic designer, or um, if you do website design, a website SEO, the list goes on. Uh, that's another app that I'd like to check out and do like a 30 day video challenge on that because Fiverr is an app that doesn't instantly give you work. It You usually get like your first inquiry a week or so in. So uh, with that aside, again, we're focused on DoorDash today. I wanna see how much money I can make in about two to three hours. I'm going to try to go at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. and do like the uh, dinner rush. Um, so like four to six or seven, depending on how busy it is today. Today is Sunday, November uh, 22nd of 2020. So uh, I wanna see how much I can make. Some of my friends make about $150 every two to three hours when they DoorDash, especially on weekends. So again, um, $150 every two hours and you do it consistently. Now granted, you won't probably make 150 every time you go, depending on the time and days, but I wanna go during peak hours, like lunch rush, uh, dinner orders, and then maybe do one of the nights for late night for one of those like late night munchies runs um, I hear there are always a lot of orders late at night for things like that, snacks and whatnot. Uh, so we'll see how we can do. But if I do it during the peak hours, I should imagine, I imagine I should be able to generate 100 to maybe $200. It's something like that. If you happen to live in a department, could definitely cover your bill for rent for the month. Or if you have things like a car payment, uh, student loans, or something else, or you just wanna have extra money set aside for things, DoorDash and or Fiverr could be really great for you. And uh, that's sort of what I want to see and see how it um, it pans out. Now I said you would generally make hopefully around $150, but I want you guys, if you are planning on doing this, whether you want to do part-time or maybe full-time, I couldn't do full-time for me sitting in my car for eight hours, uh, just I'd get sick of that very quickly. 
So again, I'm trying to do it for two to three hours and see how uh, it pans out. But you wanna set money aside, 20 to $30, uh, $10 here maybe for gas, because you will have to do gas, and then using the Stride app, um, also save your receipts for a tax write-off. Um, but also, you wanna set $10 aside each time you DoorDash, and why I'm saying that is, Let's say you decide to do DoorDash, it picks up pretty well for you, and you decide you end up doing like 50 days, you know, two months worth of DoorDash, uh, possibly. Set $10 aside every time, just in case you need something like an oil change, or maybe you, you need new brake pads, or something goes wrong with your car. I don't know what kind of condition your car is in, but the more you use your car, since you're gonna be DoorDashing, and especially doing like city travel, you're not um, gonna get as good as gas mileage. Uh, for my Mazda 6, I think I get around 20 mile, uh, 29 miles to the gallon for city, and then I get about 38 uh, for highway, because I usually drive with cruise control and I get great mileage on highway. I'm not gonna try to drive really like town to town. I'm gonna focus on the Allentown and Bethlehem area and uh, see how that goes, because there's a lot of restaurants within the area. So uh, just definitely set aside 20 to $30 for gas, because um, you will have to fill up your gas tank here and there, and definitely put some money aside, possibly for car repairs, uh, because if you do DoorDash for 50 days, put $10 aside, that's $500, that would definitely cover anything like brake pads, oil changes, or if something else you know, happens to your car due to wear and tear, the 500 or however much you set aside will definitely cover any car repair. So just think smart and think ahead, and things will go pretty well. Again, I'm gonna try to do two to three hour days. I don't wanna do eight hour days. If you happen to do longer DoorDash shifts, maybe see if a friend will wanna go with you because it, it does make it a lot more fun. I've went with some of my friends who do DoorDash uh, here and there in the past. And yeah, um, going with somebody definitely helps the shift go by a lot faster and you have more fun going along the way. So uh, that's another tip I have. And my last and final tip for you guys is to have a car speed charger in your vehicle because if your phone goes down and you're using one of these freelance apps, if your phone's out of power, well, there goes your, your entire work day. Uh, because you won't be able to do any work. So if you guys happen to be looking for a great speed charger for your vehicle, I'm gonna suggest the Hustle speed charger. It comes with two USB ports, and one of them is uh, a speed charger port or warp charge port. Uh, I have the OnePlus 5T, uh, and most phones now, most Samsung Galaxies and whatnot have speed chargers. So uh, use the speed charger port, your, uh, your phone will charge up quickly and that way you can continue working and not have to worry about your phone going down uh, during your DoorDash shift. So that's all the tips and tricks I have. Uh, we're about to get in my car and then uh, start our dash, see how that goes. I'm gonna, again, gonna try to do two or three hours doing, uh, during the uh, dinner uh, rush, see how many orders I can pick up. Hopefully they're gonna be close to each other and uh, the faster you do your DoorDash, um, the quicker or the more likely you'd be able to receive a tip. So um, gonna see how many restaurants I end up picking up orders for. And then another good rule of thumb is to call uh, the client or customer um, who's, uh, who's purchasing the order. If you call them and let them know like if there's a delay or if you're on the way, um, you're more likely to receive a tip. So that's all I got as far as tips and tricks. Uh, we're gonna get going, see how things pan out. And as I learn things along the way during this one uh, DoorDash vlog and, and subsequent episodes in the future, um, we can see if I learn anything else useful that uh, could be useful for you guys. So let's get going. All right, guys, so it is currently 346. I just got my first DoorDash order. Um, kind of a little worried about this one because they want me it delivered within like 10 minutes. And I feel like that's kind of short. So we're gonna head over there right now. Uh, it's McDonald's order, but I got everything I need. And yeah, Bethlehem picked up as far as a DoorDash area, so. Gonna, yeah, it's gonna take six minutes to get there. North on Ruble Street toward West Broad Street. Then Not sure how well this is gonna West work out. Um, I don't know. 10 minute delivery time right is pretty short. Yeah, so I'm gonna get there at, uh, I'm gonna get there at 3.52 and they want it delivered by 3.57. So I'm gonna have like five minutes to get there, which seems pretty low. But uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully I can get it there in time. It's a $4 um, DoorDash uh, trip 
So like, it's not bad. And then there could be a tip if I get there on time and get it done, uh, you know, on time or maybe a few minutes after. But yeah, it's 3.47 and they want it delivered in 10 minutes. The, uh, the restaurant though is again, five minutes away. So we'll see how this one turns out. So we're actually not too far. Uh, should be there in two minutes. Uh, again, the drive-through may take a little while, and I don't know where exactly this guy is, if he's on Southside Bethlehem, or if he's uh, back to just where I was, where I picked up the order at. But uh, yeah, uh, just down the road, I'll be there shortly. Okay, so I am here at the first uh, DoorDash pickup here at a McDonald's. The line here is pretty long. Um, so I'm gonna get in line, hopefully have it in the car by 3.57, give this guy a call, uh, let him know I picked up the order and then that it's in transit. Um, if you call the customer, you usually get a tip, just for, I guess, professionalism. All right, guys, just picked up the order. We're gonna call this guy real quick. I'll let him know that the order's on the way. Yes, hello. Hey Josh, I'm um, just letting you know that I am I picked up your order just now and I'm on the way to uh, deliver it to you. All right, thank you so much, sir. Yep, no problem, I'll see you soon. Uh, would you just prefer it if right. I left it at the door or do you want a hand delivered? Um, it's all right if you leave it on the door. Um, on, on the front porch, there's going to be two red chairs. Yeah. Just, um, if you, would, if you would feel comfortable just leaving it on one of the chairs, that would be fine. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'll do that for you. Yep. All right. All right, thank you so much. No Appreciate problem. You. Bye. Okay, cool. So let them know that that's there. We picked up the order. Directions. Hopefully it's not far. Oh, it's only a two minute drive. So this is actually pretty easy. This guy literally lives up the street. So I'm gonna hit up the directions there. And, uh, okay. All right, guys, we're about to pull up on this first order, get it delivered. Uh, he said something about two red chairs, so I'll keep my eye out for that and get it there. Your destination is on the left. Where? On the left, five. Uh, it should be okay. So there's 508. And I'm looking for 512. Uh, there's 512. Cool. All right. I'm just gonna shouldn't park here, but whatever. I'm just oh, I should have totally parked in that spot. Whatever. I'll just uh, leave my four ways on real quick. All right. I'm also wearing a wireless mic, so I should have audio down the street from there. I'm actually probably just gonna turn this off real quick. So, grab the order, here's the drink. I should probably wear a face mask, but let me get this delivered in time. Yeah. I also need my cell phone for the picture. Okay, first order is done. And I got a tip. Uh, so it's a total four bucks. All right, so just made a quick four bucks in like 10 minutes or so. All right. Where am I on the map here? Okay, so that order's done. I'm gonna move my car because I'm parked somewhere where I shouldn't be. 
sent a photo to the guy to let him know the order's there. Hey, an order just popped up for, it's an $8 pay. Uh, deliver by 434. Doesn't seem terribly far, so I'm gonna accept it. Wait, six miles. So where am I going? To Hellertown? 434, hmm. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. So directions to the restaurant, loading. It's a five minute drive to the restaurant. All right, let's get going. All right, guys, so I just got to the restaurant. I'm gonna run over real quick, get pick up the dash order. Uh, let's jump over to the app. I need my face mask once again. This is actually the first place I actually door dashed for when I tried it like two months back. And then I just like, so they make you do like a run so you can get up like your door dash bag and, what, and the red card sent to you, like as an initial test drive. So I'm gonna about to run in real quick, get this order and I'll be right back. I'm probably gonna leave the camera running cause it should be able to pick up the audio. <sighs> Okay, so I'm at the restaurant. You guys should be able to hear me and like literally nobody is answering. Oh, does that work? Hello? Oh, here's come somebody. Hello? Uh, I'm doing a DoorDash order. Cash order? Sure. Jason M? Uh, yeah, Jason M. The wonton with garlic sauce, uh, chicken noodle soup, uh, general sow chicken, and sesame chicken. There you go. All right, thank you. Okay. So we got the order. It took a while for someone to come to the window, but we got the order. I'm about to call this guy, let him know the order's in. So we slide after the arrival. We got all the items. Probably not gonna show up super well on the phone. Check that that's there, because I checked with the guy at the front desk. Uh, this is apparently in an apartment. Take this off too, because Max always make my lenses fog up. So we're gonna deliver to him. So I'm gonna call him real quick. Hello? Oh, that always makes me wonder. I guess while this car tr call tries to go through, I'll in the directions to head over. So it's a 12 minute drive, so I better get this moving now. I don't think this guy's gonna answer. I guess I'll send him a text and be like, hey, picked up the order, it's on the way. Cause um, whatever you... Yeah, he didn't answer. Hi, this is Jason, I'm unavailable right now. Give me your name and number and I'll get Okay. All right guys, so we're practically here. I'm in Hellertown now, so after this delivery, I wanna head closer to home. Uh, so I don't wanna be too far out of the way, and then that's just gonna be more gas, I imagine. Also, we've gotta adjust this a little more. Uh, this guy's in an apartment, and I did try calling him earlier, so hopefully I can find it in a you know pretty fast amount of time. Take the next right toward Bethlehem Fields Way, what? then turn right onto Bethlehem Fields Way. Yeah, this is a huge apartment complex, and I've never been here before. Um, but I'm sure we'll figure this out and get it right delivered in a Bethlehem timely manner. I know I'm going to build right in to building J. Uh, this is G. Why did it have me go this way? This is stupid. I could have just went straight. Google Maps sometimes has no idea what it's doing. That was a complete waste. It just had me do a little loop. So, is this building? Take the next right to stay on Bethlehem. I don't know why it took me that way. Then you will arrive at your destination. Uh, building J, building J, you building J. Where? Is this building J? Uh, I have no clue. Okay, so let's jump back to DoorDash. Um, building J. Uh, room number two, seven. No, it's not gonna be that building then, because it said uh, the building number is 2778. Uh, right, um, can I loop back in here? 
Is that a thing? Yes, I can. All right, so we're gonna do that. I think, because I think it's this building we want to be in. Not 100% sure. Oh, this is building H, L. Which building is this one? This one's not even labeled. Darn it. Um, I'm gonna have to try calling this guy. And hopefully he answers, because this is building L, L. I know apartment. Hello? Hello. Hey, uh, Yo. I'm Alex here with DoorDash. I can't find your building. I just passed a building, what was that, H, and I'm by building L. I'm looking for a building J. Yeah, just keep all the way down at the end. Just keep all driving way. all the way to the end. Pass building K, I'm guessing? Yeah, when you come into the development, just go right. And uh -huh. just keep driving until the very end. All right, yeah, Google Maps is kind of inaccurate. Right oh, is that you in the black hoodie? Yeah, all right, right cool. Ahead. All right. Just right here. All right. Do this real quick. Oh, I guess we're doing like window delivery pickup. There you go. Yep, no problem, bro. Take care. Okay, pretty easy. Oh. So let me confirm. Complete delivery. And then we just got a $5 tip, pretty cool. Okay, so the smartest thing to do would be to head back to Bethlehem now that that order is complete. All right guys, so I just got another order. It is currently uh, 4.36, so three orders essentially within an hour, uh, $12 in. This is a quick $3 pickup order. I don't really know if it's worth it. It's three miles, so me. But I figured I should just take all of them and see how we end up doing. Um, it's for Papa John's. Again, I'm not terribly far away. Uh, I'm gonna have to go on this side of Bethlehem, Bethlehem and then uh, head back to South Side Bethlehem. It's on the right. All right guys, so we're pulling up to the Papa John's right now. I guess I'm gonna park in this lot and uh, just d run on over and pick up the order real quick. Spin this around. Wow, it is getting awfully dark. So I'm gonna have to adjust color setting or ISO settings here. Okay, guys. So I'll be in and out. Put this in park, and then I give this another hour. I'm done because I don't know. People are driving around right now without their headlights even on. So I'm gonna run in, grab the order, and then be right out. Oh, I need a face mask. adjust that Hello. hey there uh this is alex with doordash uh, i'm just letting you know i picked up your pizza order and i'm gonna be heading to your address right now okay perfect all right i'll see you soon okay. all right take care bye all right easy enough all right let's get going before uh, i run out of time here it says we're here i don't see it i also can't read these numbers um 733. See, it always takes you, Google Maps always tells you you're here and you're like two or three houses down. Um, was that 729? I cannot tell. Let's back up, back up a bit. Is that 729, 729? There we are, 729. So I'm gonna call this guy. Um, oops. I'm gonna call this guy and let him know I'm here. Put on my four ways. Delivery. Okay, so I just you know, put that there. Alright, guys, be right back. Okay, oh, another easy order down. Um, this guy didn't tip though. Which is fine, like, oh, here's another one. Deliver by 519, it's kind of far. Wait a second. So the house is here, and he wants me to go across town for 350. I'm gonna pass on this one, because that would be a waste of gas and a waste of time. 
All right, let me again move my vehicle. Probably shouldn't be here for too long. But yeah, I got an order, uh, my next order. I'm gonna decline this one because again, it's far, it's three. It's a waste of time. Now, if I was on the other side of town, that would make more sense, but I'm not gonna drive uh, 5.6 miles for 350 decline. So what is this asking me? Are you sure you want to decline? You're the best dasher for this order. Your acceptance rate will drop to 50%. Why? That's not worth it. Okay, let me cut through here. I'm not 100% sure where I'm at. Resume dash. That's stupid for decline. It's not, it doesn't make sense to take every order. Why would I take an order that's so far out for only 350? It's not worth it. Um, it the, the rule of thumb I heard was if uh, delivery is, there's another one. So, uh, okay, this one's closer. Um, I'm actually right next to it, so that, that that's awesome. And it's a $6 order for 2.2 miles. Yeah, you want the pay to be above the mileage. So we're gonna accept this offer because it's literally right down the road. All right, guys, just picked up the uh, order here at El Jefe's. Um, I need directions to this spot, the $6 order. It tried to give me an order to Perkins on the way there, but it was like too much back and forth. And I don't like that if you decline an order, there's like a penalty for it, which is kind of stupid. Like if it's out of the way for me, I don't know. I don't necessarily find that super fair. I also forgot to call this guy. Just want to call him, let him know I'm on the way. All right, guys, so I just pulled up to the for this next order from the El Jefe's, uh, I think she ordered tacos. Anyways, I'm about to drop this off and I'm gonna cut vlogging until I get back home. I'll just give you guys the number total because it's getting dark, my camera can't even really see me and I wanna be more focused on driving because of the way people drive at night and, and whatnot. All right, guys, I'm doing my last order here. Again, we're just doing a two hour run. Uh, I'm gonna run in here, pick up the order, get it delivered and it's an $8 order. And then uh, we're gonna do a recap here. Just need to find my face mask. It's getting pretty dark. And again, this was more so of uh, just a trial run. So I'll be right back in a moment. Later. Interesting. <clears throat> All right, so that was interesting. That was the first time I used the red card and I didn't know that the red card uh, was generally used to pay for certain orders. <laughs> I had to look, look that up real quick on Google to make sure that like I didn't get charged, but the red card isn't part or of, um, the red card isn't linked to any of my bank accounts or anything like that. So that's what I was worried about. <laughs> I was like, wait, how am I supposed to pay for this? And he was like, hello, you have a red card. And I was like, oh, my bad. All right. So I'm about to call this uh, person, their name is Koi, and then let them know I have their order and then be on the way to deliver that. Okay. Hey Koi, uh, this is Alex from DoorDash. Yeah, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm good. Uh, I was just calling to let you know that I just picked up your order when I got there. I wasn't ready yet, um, but they just gave okay. it to me. I'm in the car and I'm about to head over to you, all right? Okay, man, sounds good. Thanks for calling, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. All right, bud, take care. Yep. Be safe, see ya. All right, and that's why you call people. People appreciate it and they give you a good review score. So we're gonna get this delivered and then I'm gonna head home to recap and uh, end this video. All right. So we're here, about to hand this order over to the guy. So dark. Oh, yeah. 
Hey there. How you doing, bro? I'm good. Oh yeah, no problem. This is fun. So I got your two orders here. All right, thanks, buddy. Yep. Hey, be safe. All right. Thanks. Okay, last order complete. Now I'm gonna head home and do a recap for the day. But yeah, this wasn't too bad. Let's take a quick look. Uh, close that out. And then complete delivery. And then I hand it to the customer. Um, okay, so we're at a total of uh, $37 for two hours. Um, so I'm going to end my dash. That's almost $20 an hour. I just have to tell it to... Uh, and dash. All right, so that wraps up our DoorDash adventure for today. I only drove for two hours and 15 minutes and I totaled out at $37, which then breaks down to $18.50 per hour. So honestly, I'd say that's pretty good. Now what I realized is the longer you do it, so if I was to set up a time to do, instead of just two hours and 15 minutes, if I, if I decided today to DoorDash for four hours and I kept up this rate, then I would make out pretty good. That'd be uh, close, uh, I imagine closer to $100 with some tips and whatnot. Um, but the one thing I didn't like about DoorDash today is that some of the orders, uh, one order popped up for a pizza restaurant and it wanted me to drive 10 miles and they think the pay was only $5. So no matter how you do that, especially the, um, the delivery time was almost an hour because I received that at five o'clock and it was like, you'd arrive and pretty much finish the order by 5.52. It's not worth it. So I turned down the order because mathematically it just didn't make sense to drive that long for such little pay and then end up wasting so much gas on my Mazda 6 to get there. So I hit decline and as you decline orders, your acceptance rate drops, which I don't necessarily find fair. It's kind of stupid how that works out. So I still hit no, and then minutes later, I got another uh, delivery. Also, I did a total of six deliveries, so it was a pretty busy two hours. As far as the Stride app, it's claiming that I have $22 in deductions, and I didn't even have to get gas. Uh, with my 2015 Mazda 6 Touring, I didn't even use half a gallon, uh, sorry, I didn't even use a quarter of a gallon, so. I made up pretty well and I did drive 39 miles. Again, I said uh, the Mazda 6 gets, uh, I think it's about 30 miles to the Gallon City and then highway it's 38. I know highway's 38. I'm not 100% sure about city, but again, that varies. Like if I was in Center City, Allentown, hitting red light to red light to red light, I'm sure that value or number drops, but um, most of it was cons consistent driving. I didn't hit too many red lights, which was nice and <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Also guys, just another key tip, when you pick up the order, whether it's late or if it's on time or if you're early, always call the customer and let them know that you picked up their order because uh, they're usually pretty grateful about that and uh, it raises your chance of receiving a, a, a higher end tip with the order. So that's really all I got guys. I had a lot of fun doing this today. I. Definitely in the future, I'm gonna, I definitely wanna do a week long version of this and also a 30 day month long challenge to see how much I can really make through DoorDash. Cause I think the numbers can be pretty high. I've seen some people uh, do really well. And again, today, even though it was just $37 in about two hours, I didn't drive the whole time. And uh, again, if I had a friend with me, it'd be even more fun, but I didn't have to put any money in for gas. And then I can still, if I decided to take $10 away and uh, put it towards, you know, future car repairs it's still uh it's still not too bad of a total for two hours so there's definitely a lot more money to be made if you decide to do a four hour long dash or a six hour long dash i know some people do a complete eight hours and that seems like a lot but i could imagine um the pay's pretty good and it, it definitely does be um you know just a like a normal average nine to five sort of job uh, as far as pay so um, that's all I got for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. The only thing that really threw me off today was having to use my DoorDash red card. I 
didn't really read up on the instructions on that, so I was confused. But yeah, he just swiped it, DoorDash uh, processes the payment, your bank account's not affected at all whatsoever, so no big deal. Uh, just so now you guys know how that works out. And uh, yeah, that's really it for the video. So this was a lot of fun. I definitely want to make a video on Fiverr, uh, more DoorDash videos in the future. And uh, yeah, I think I want to see how much I could possibly make in a total of four hours or five hours. So um, we'll see how that goes in a future video. So this has been Alex from the AL7 YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.